Now, watching the health care discussion in Washington closely are disability rights groups here in Wisconsin. They say cuts to Medicaid funding could have major consequences. Our political reporter Jessica Arp has more on their concerns tonight, Jess. Well, yeah, this all has to do with the per capita cap that we've been talking about on Medicaid funding. It's a phrase that might not mean much to those who don't depend on Medicaid for services, but it means everything to those who do. Mickey just turned 14 at the end of last year. Mickey Simpkins' school. smile belies the challenges he and his family face daily. Mickey was born with a congenital brain malformation, and that led to intractable epilepsy. Which his mother, Kelly, says Medicaid-funded programs like therapies, personal and respite care, and prescriptions save her family from staggering costs. One of them I know for certain is like $1,900 a month. <laughs> so if we were, if we had that burden, um, you know, we would be, we'd be homeless <laughs> because we couldn't possibly continue something like that. Our national advocate friends are telling us this is the most significant decision being made um, for Medicaid funding in the last 50 years. Disability rights advocates like Lisa Pugh of the ARC Wisconsin say a cap on Medicaid funding to states could affect more than 20 programs across Wisconsin, like IRIS, which helps those with disabilities get community-based services at home. And the state is left to decide do we cut programs? Do we cut services? Do we make people who are eligible today not eligible tomorrow? Are we going to cover kids? Are we going to cover kids with significant disabilities? And I think a lot of those decisions that are concerning are then pushed down to the state to make. The closest House Speaker Paul Ryan said the plan, quote, will protect the most vulnerable by strengthening Medicaid. Kelly Simpkins looks at her child and sees it differently. I think when you cut this amount of money, um, from people who depend on it, that there may be unintended consequences um, for families like mine. I just don't see a way around it. Now, Speaker Ryan did meet with some of those disability groups today who said they had a short time to share these concerns. A spokesman for Governor Walker says he's, quote, strongly advocated for Wisconsin's elderly and disabled in his meetings in Washington, knowing that Medicaid costs for these people should be prioritized and fully covered. It impacts a lot of lives here in Wisconsin. Jessica Arp reporting. Jess, thanks. Welcome.